Hi, this is Janet. I would like to talk about some of the default transition options in Adobe Premiere. First of all, one of the first things I would change is located in the preferences under general is the video transition default duration. You can see it defaults to 30 frames, but if you're working on a 24 frame sequence, this you might change to reflect the frame rate of your sequence to 24. So I'll go ahead and change that. And if we take a look at what the current default is for our transition, you can see cross dissolve is set to be the default. I'm going to change it to film dissolve. So I'm going to right click and choose set selected as default transition. And now you can see film dissolve is our new default transition. I can also do that for the audio, but I'm going to leave that at constant power. Now a couple of keyboard shortcuts and menu options which are useful. In the sequence menu, we have apply video transition, command D is the keyboard shortcut, and also apply audio transition, shift command D. If you're working on a PC, command of course will be replaced with control. Now if I want to apply that, I'm just going to command D and you can see it will apply it and shift command D for the audio. If I would like to apply that to more than one transition, I can go ahead and select the clips and again, command D, you can see it applies the transition not only to the edits, but also to the start and end and shift command D will do the same for the audio. So those are some of the options we can change for Adobe Premiere Pro's default transitions. This is Janet and thanks for listening.